on the end mission croco block jet engine with the Gutenberg form builder and there are already uh, tutorials made of course but uh, not with for example the repeater fields so when you are uh, making a from jet engine in the post types you make a repeat fields then you want also be able it's on the front end missions forms and that can be done with the form builder but um, we want to use the form builder from jet engine with the um, gutenberg and uh, of course you have to uh, um, install the plugin first so this is the plugin the form builder as you can see here you can uh, upload it from the WordPress Society, so you add a new plugin and then you search for the form builder. And um, when you want to able to, uh, uh, for example, the, the trim string to callback, when you uh, want to make a uh, custom listing and uh, you don't, you want to limit the characters, then you have to use that plugin as well. There are a lot of plugins uh, when something not is not working then it's most of the cases that you don't didn't install the plugin or you didn't activate it um, so you have to install the form builder and um, you uh, can also use uh, with uh, the form builders uh, uh, for example the lim form responses and there are a lot of uh, plugins that you can use for the form builder and to uh, make it just the way you like it but we're not going to discover this on this tutorial. Let's see first what I've made. So uh, when you are going uh, to the form, then you can see here that I have a repeater uh, fields. And um, the title for, from the post of the blog and the what you see is what you get, editor. And then um, I can submit it and then I've made create a new post. So let's just do it. Uh, if you can see the website uh, let's do it in an incognito event there are three posts test post or four posts and this was not good it was wrong when i was playing around so uh let's just adding a new post so we are going to the form and then we're gonna say uh, we give it the, we give it a name mm. and an image now i will recommend you to uh, uh, put it on uh, the top of your form because uh, as you can see here it's loading and when uh, people are clicking on uh, send submit the form and it was not finished then they may get some errors or the post won't be submitted an email address doesn't matter anyway the city uh, so these are all post types the websites um, and here is the repeater field. We're going to make an, another repeater field. And uh, let's, as you can see, I'm Dutch. Title of the blog. blog. Description. Some dummy text. I'm going to submit it. This is the picture. It's still loading. And then it's successful. Now, uh, of course, you have to uh, re redirect uh, them when the post have submitted because they see the fields once again and they think by themselves, hey, I've done something wrong. And they're going to fill it again and again and again while the post is already submitted. So uh, let's see. The post is successfully submitted. And let's see if the post is, has been added. And here it is. Don't look at the layout. And here is the repeat field. And this is the website that they can go to. And everything works fine. 
Um, so the first thing that you have to do, of course, is making um, the um, but with the jet engine you make the post types. So here it is. There are the post types. And this is the post type that I've made. And as you can see here, there are those meta fields. Now this speaks for themselves, but what where we are interesting in is the repeater. And if you can see here the repeater, the repeater field has an ID. So keep this ID in mind. And then you have, of course, the name of the re uh, repeater itself. And that is this name. So those two are very important. So this one and that one. You have to copy both of them. Once you have done that, then you go to the uh, forum. And if you can see here, this is the forum builders, and these are the forums. Edits. And once you are in the forum, then you can see that here is the repeater fields. And is a text field. Here above is the text field, and this is of course the repeater field itself. So um, what you have to do is uh, the text field must be the uh, field name that we have had here. So this is called Diensten, and when you're going to the post types that we have made, custom post types, uh, post types, once again, then you can see here that's by the repeater section. This one is here, in here. And then what you have to do is adding another text field. So this is the repeater field and this is the text field. And then you have add the ID from the repeat, the text field itself, this one. So uh, this is a repeater field. And this is a text field, this, so there are two in one place. And once you have done that, then the repeater field will, will work. So I, I hope that it makes uh, sense. So this is the repeater field, as you can see here. And in the repeater field itself, you must ab uh, adding a text field. So uh, when you're going here to the plus, and you're going to search for repeater fields. And you see here the repeater field. It's not a dynamic repeater, but it's the repeater fields. You're going to edit repeater fields. The repeater field, you give the label a name, and then on the plus sign, then it's going to be a text field. Now, obviously, when it was something else than a text field, uh, then you have to change it as well inside of the repeater field. So that's just a little bit different, different between all the other. Uh, uh, fields that you're using and of course uh, when you are going to the other form builder and uh, then you uh, go into the forms and when you see that's the when you want to edit here the repeat fields then you're gonna add a new field and the field is going to be start repeater so it's going to be um, repeater group starts. And then you're going to edit here the field name. And then, of course, you, uh, so the, the field name was from the jet engine post types. So this one, you can embed in here.
And once you have done that, then you're going to edit another, the, the, you can apply the changes, and then you're going to add another um, field, at the fields, and this is going to be the text field. So when you watch it in here, this is the text field. Then you're going to copy it, and then you're going to paste it in here. And this is the text field, so keep it on the text field. And then what you have to do is apply the changes and add a new field, and then you have to make it the repeater ends. So uh, the repeater group felt ends, and then apply the changes. So uh, that's the way you uh, can do it with uh, the uh, posts of, or, or the uh, form fields from Jet Engine with this uh, particular uh, form uh, builder. But when you use it to the Gutenberg, then it's of course the way that I've showed you. Um, so um, yeah, basically that 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 was it uh, for this tutorial. And of course, I'm going to make other tutorials, but I want to keep the tutorials short. I'm going to explain a lot more about the form fields. So um, I hope that you subscribe and you watch the other tutorial.